Hi everyone, uh, Surat here again, and since I've now finished the Guardian Legend, I thought it was about time I moved on to a little more, I don't know, staple genre of most Let's Players, uh, the point-and-click adventure game. Today we will be exploring a game from the mid-90s based on a series of books by Terry Pratchett called Discworld, in which we follow the... Uh, never mind the piracy screen here, folks. I am using a legitimate disc, and I'm also uh, trying to keep it from moving until I'm done talking because... Well, we'll let this piracy screen play, and you'll get to hear a few things. Yeah, we're going to play Discworld, and I will let the intro play, and then we'll go on to describe the controls afterward, but I will shut up and let this intro play out all on its own. It gets a little loud anyway, and I would have to compete for the... Uh, as you can hear, it's getting loud already. So I will have to compete... So, instead of competing with it, I think I will just let it play out. Enjoy the show, folks, and I'll be back when I get control of the main character. In a second-hand set of dimensions. In an astral plane that was never meant to fly. Somewhere in darkest ankh Morpork, a sinister plot is about to unfold. Dragon! 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 Dragon, 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 Again next week for my usual special. Hi, <laughs> what's where you going? See you soon. Get off. Leave me alone. Damnation if you don't clear out, so help me, I'll... I'll... Oh, just bugger off! <coughs> That's better. It's on nights like this I could just murder a good cunny. Who's there? <laughs> hands. Would you mind putting your hands up? Why? What's happening? It's a simple courtesy. I say, put your hands up. And you, put your hands up. What did you say? <laughs> it's traditional. A well-established ritual of your actual mugger and victim relationship. You being a victim, and me being the aforementioned mugger. Now please, Put your hands up. Hold on to you, what's the names? <laughs> I haven't got all night, you know. Just do it, all right? Okay, okay. I don't know what this town is coming to. A man can't even have a quiet drink in peace. <laughs> now, that wasn't too hard, was it? Now, if you'll just... <laughs> Oh, bugger. Ah! 
Unseen University. The home of the greatest wizards on the Discworld. And one or two of the worst. Now, listen carefully. With all these rumours of a dragon... But, sir, dragons don't exist. At least, not unless people believe in them. Quite, quite. Nevertheless, with all these rumours of a dragon on the rampage, the wizards of Unseen University must fulfil their civic responsibility. We must seek out this dragon and destroy it. Yes, but how? Who? Leave the how up to me. As for the who, well, I know of the ideal person. Why don't you go and fetch Rincewind for me? Rincewind! Rincewind! Wake up! The Arch-Chancellor wants to see you! And thus it begins, in proper. As you can tell, this charming fellow right here is Rincewind. He, in, if you remember, the intro, the narrator said, uh, home to the best wizards and one or two of the worst. Uh, Rincewind is indeed one or two of the worst. So, you know, we have some basic commands here. Let's, since I can actually alter them, we can act upon things, we can examine them, and we can walk towards them. So, and this game actually does support the PlayStation mouse. Yeah, we're playing the PlayStation version of Discworld, and it does support the... I never actually saw one, but there was a mouse release for the, for the original PlayStation. I just never saw the thing. But anyway... Get out of here. Get out of here. Thank you. Okay. And let's... Oh, no! Ugh! It's horrible! Hang on a minute. It's me. Rather handsome-looking chap, isn't he? Yes, and that's Eric Idle, folks. Yeah, he puts his voice on here. Um, let me turn on subtitles, just in case. Now let's have him look around the room here so you can this get an idea. This sodding thing hasn't got a doorknob! This sodding thing hasn't... Oh, no, no, I didn't want to click on that again. A snoring but we'll have him chest, look around. that's novel. <coughs> but I'll soon fix that. Excuse me. Oh, look, a shape. Yes, a mysterious shape, a sinister shape. A shape fraught with... with... shapeness. It must be a plot element. Otherwise, there'd be a better label. Yeah. So, now that I'm out of time, I've got to save it here. And I can use the save. Save game. Yeah, there's a previous save game. We'll overwrite and restart here. But, as soon as it stops, as soon as it saves, I've got to cut the video because I'm out of time. And when I come back, we will actually start 
doing what it asks us to and start trying to save the world from the mysterious dragon shape. Take care, everybody. See you next time. <laughs>